but if they can turn the night, yeah. And Applejack Apple Jack Apple. is my wife. Then why can't we imagine? <laughs> I don't remember what he said. What email address do you have? You're not coming up. Uh. On where are you? Uh, security and login. All right, my email is a diddlydo at gmail.com. Yeah, it's like a diddlydo. A diddlydo, my diddly and diddlets. Hope your day's going well. And I would like to welcome you back to another reaction video. Now, today we're going to be reacting to senior see, you fellow's new video, Mucky. Well, you see, that's it. Send it. What did that say? Your hero's inventory is full. Ah, uh, yes, from MLB. Well, I don't know. Should probably Diego be B wants to be friends. Oh, no. Ignore. Thanks. <laughs> you taunted me. <laughs> <laughs> what? what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean you taunted me? <laughs> but don't worry, you st you're still 34,000 steps ahead. Yep, yep. How do you taunt someone? Oh. What did you taunt me? <laughs> I, I pressed the screen too fast and now I, I can't see what I said. What did you taunt me for? I wonder if I'll get kicked off the app for sending this. <laughs> what are you trying to send? <laughs> 34,000 steps ahead still. Stop! All right, so while you do that, I'm going to start the podcast officially. How's it going, Tube Tech students? It's your boy, Diddles. And I'm here with my Fitbit friend. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Diddles is pointing to the message. <laughs> I'll let you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Diddles, and I'm here with my Fitbit friend. Why do you... Why? Because you're my Fitbit friend. Help me be more fit on Fitbit.com. Diego B wants to be more active with you on Fitbit. What? Except no, I friend. don't. Join me on Fitbit so we can track each other's progress and each other's encouragement and see who tops the leaderboard each week. Diego B. How long is it going to take? For you, how long is it going to be for you to overtake me when I'm thirty-four thousand ahead? Are you? Yes. Dang. Dying. Uh, speaking of dying. Uh, the Pokemon Academy Life episode should be up sometime around next week. Me and Brandon are struggling because Chattahoochee... Oh, I dropped my college name. But whatever. Uh, we're struggling because finals are, like, awful. Especially since we're both taking, like... I think he's taking four classes. The absolute mad lad. And he still wants to edit for me. I'm taking three classes. He's taking four. And, uh... It's awful. Because uh, summer school is super fast. There's like eight weeks to get everything done. And now we're in the middle of finals. And I think I have like two finals on the same day. I should probably make sure they're not at the same time. But other than that, um, yeah. Uh, Pokemon Academy Life should be back up next week. Um, I wish I had fire. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You never introduced yourself, Fitbit friend. What's your name? No. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. And remember Childish Gambino? You say that as if he's like gone or something. <laughs> he is. He died. Yeah, he only played Simba. <laughs> that movie killed him. <laughs> he was like... <laughs> it means no worries for the rest of you. Didn't even finish his life. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so this is quite a joyous occasion. This is the last episode of season one of the Just Talk podcast. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Finally. Yay! We made it all the way to the end of season one. I legit thought those outlines were just, I thought they were cat noir. What outlines? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, there's a ladybug. Oh. Well, yeah, there's a ladybug app. You have it. Dab Who noir. I deleted it because Cat Noir dabbed, and I refuse to have that on my phone. You still have Mario Kart 8, though. Milady? Yeah, because Mario Kart 8's fun. No. 
I'm like an endless, miraculous ladybug runner where they just, just play the theme wizard. song on loop. Is it actually just a theme song? Yeah, on loop. Except there's no vo- except there's no vo- there's no vocals. Just like I live a life that's full of fun. It keeps me sharp and on the run. When evil comes, I find a way to use my force and save the day. Uh oh, uh, uh, life's got me spinning around. Uh oh, uh, oh, my world is upside down. Uh oh, uh, oh, and when the time has come, better hang around. I com I completely went this through. This really sounds like a copyright strike. Uh, uh, no, it's not because I'm. No, you see. Okay, this is a copyright strike mainly because I'm too perfect in singing the song. Therefore, they're gonna think. That. They're gonna think that I'm just playing the song. Don't know about that. Yo, my name is Danny Sexwagon and my <laughs> Dang it, I messed up. Dying. Your tight uh, is really wrong. <laughs> Yo, my name. <laughs> Yo, my name is Danny Sexwagon and my rhymes are really tight. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. No. Just the words, I'm white. Um. Well, that's true. So, Tiago, what were some of your favorite moments from the podcast? I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember anything. Uh, one of my f- favorite moments is still they put lettuce on my baconator. I love that. I don't remember me saying that. Uh, it, ha- it it happens within the first five seconds of the second episode of the podcast when we were still in room two nineteen before we got kicked out. I, I was like, uh, I was like, how's it going, dreamers? It's diddles. He's like, they put lettuce on my baconator, and I was like, great, <laughs> absolutely, Osha. That is my introduction. <laughs> Me getting mad because I have vegetables on my burger. On my baconator. But we've been doing a good job with that. As I mentioned, we are now Fitbit friends officially. Um, and we've been using it to lose weight. Diego's lost a good how much? 20. You've lost 20 pounds. I've gained a good 20. Uh, it 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 leaves him and comes to me. Um, <laughs> dying. <laughs> dying. Dying, dying. Dying, dying. Oh, he's going to find this one day. So, one day he is. <laughs> uh, I had a whole bunch of topics I wanted to talk about in the very last podcast. Tell you what, since we're talking about things ending, since season two probably won't happen for a while, since I plan on actually having guests in Ooh. season two. Yes. Um, let's Such talk jealous. about Water Witch. So, let's talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Um, what, uh, Water Witch, Night of Breath, if I can ever get her to get on Discord, because she, 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 for someone who has such a strong online presence, she is very hard to find. <laughs> like, it's so weird, because it's like, she'll post like seven things, and then I'll be like, hey, uh, do you have some free time? And then she doesn't a- answer for like five days. <laughs> Hey, where's Jared? Oh, snap. Jasper! Where's Jasper? I need to address that at some point. Uh, all of my personas are going to come back at some point. Once I find persona. the time. Yeah. Uh, Jasper is my persona. Persona! How's it going? I almost I, I almost made him drop the end bomb I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pers- Why? Persona! How's it going, nigga? <laughs> I don't think Jasper has ever canonically said the N-word on my channel. I think it might be time for a change. It's either that or I find a cosplay of Big Mac and make him one of my personas on my channel. Yo, I would be destroyed in his introductory um, episode. Because he's basically just Van Gogh, but funny. Um, Because I remember when me and Dashaun first came up with Van Gogh. And the whole joke was that he said the N-word. And that was it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Um, he was a... Uh, because as as you know, he was uh, Shredder's pet tur- turtle. And one, and Shredder had a problem that whenever he beat his meat, he would get unreasonably angry when he comes. So he would find his pet turtle and throw him against the wall. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told you this. Um, so one day he threw him too hard and he ended up flying out of Shredder's tower this is based off of the uh cartoon from nicktoons all those years ago uh the 2d one i don't <laughs> that's all of them uh it doesn't really narrow anything down uh the okay. super anime one the one that crossed over with the original 
or, or the one that had the crossover where it showed all the iterations of the TMNT. And Shredder was like, I'll destroy all the multiverses turtles. Oh, wait, that means I can't make Project B now. Dang. Dying. Dying. Um, but anyway, he landed in an Oper. I'm suit. dying of heat exhaustion. Yeah, basically, I, was, I wasn't going to say anything because it's your car and you just got gas, but please. <laughs> so, anyway, um... Oh, and that's right on there, so I wonder if they'll hear the car turn on. So anyway, um, he landed in an open sewer in a pile of mutagen, and he wrote, and I still remember this from his creation. This is still verbatim, and he arose from the pile of, mu of mutagen and gave a hearty, NEGRO! <laughs> and then he just went on a journey to where he needed to stop the Shredder and kill as many blacks as he could. What is wrong with you <laughs> always putting the word the in front of someone's name? Yeah, the Shredder. His name's the Shredder. Well, sometimes they call him the Shredder. Yes, they do. Just... In the show, they sometimes call him the Shredder. Who calls him the Joker? No. I'm not talking about Joker now, am I? Okay, yeah, but you're still putting the word the in front of someone's name. And in the show, they sometimes... You know, we're just going to stop this now because I'm not going to have this conversation. I don't need to have this conversation again. Yeah, exactly, because... I'm right. You literally are, but I'm also right in saying that in the show, they sometimes call him the Shredder. You know, I'm right in saying that... Master Splinter says you need to defeat the Shredder. You know what I say? Shut up! Fuck Splinter. Well, dang, I don't know what he ever did to hurt you. A furry ass bitch. <laughs> Excuse you! I would gladly take his cock any day, but Van Gogh had like a couple of <laughs> shut up, don't call Tom. Uh, there were uh, there, call. He's watching right now. Uh, there were a couple of uh, catchphrases that Van Gogh had, and they all had to do with black people. And he would no, he, no, he wasn't just attacking black people. He would just call everyone slurs for blacks, and, <laughs> and there was no reason. <laughs> like he would like walk up to a white man. He's just like walking down the street. Oh man, I can't be late to this business meeting. And then he would just come out from the series like, bye bye, Blackie. And then he'd just like break his kneecaps. Um, of course, his of course his standard catchphrase was Sayonara Negro. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sayonara Negro. Bye bye, Blackie. Uh, night night, nigger. Uh, <laughs> you really have some kind of problem. <laughs> Adios, nigga. Uh, all of them had to deal with saying goodbye to black people with terrible slurs. Um, this is the first time Brandon has heard of Van Gogh. I'm sorry. Uh, you probably don't want to edit my stuff after this, so uh, I completely and, un and wholeheartedly understand. Um... But yeah, Van Gogh sort of like went on like this long journey with me and Daishan, birth, redeath, became God, got defeated, was shot by the crucifix gun, where if you got hit by its bullet, you'd just be nailed to a cross. Um, was reborn as four separate turtles who, who all had their own character arcs, except for one. And then there was another Van Gogh from another dimension who never uh, repented for his ways. So they had to defeat him after he fucked a baby boy in the middle of a freeway. No, a four-way intersect, sex, a free, four-way intersection for like three hours straight because, and I quote, he was looking for the hymen, and then the four, and then the four other mangoes came out. He's like, "It's a baby boy, doesn't have a hymen." He was like, "Ew." Well, one day we can all just look back on this and laugh. We stand for justice, and then they just like broke his neck. Uh, so. Oh yeah, that was one of his original powers. With a single snap of his finger, he could break your neck. Um, <laughs> so, basically, Big Mac is just a horse version of that. Yeah, except funny. Because uh, he'd be like, because <laughs> he'd be like, night, night, nigger. <laughs> and, then, and then he would snap his neck. He'd be like, no. Uh, so, um, after that, he was reborn, and he was being forced to pay for all of his sins. He dropped down from 10 feet to 1 foot tall. Um, I forgot to mention he was 10 feet tall, uh, uh, so me and Daishan basically abused him for, like, years to, to, like, make him repent for his sins that we made him do, um, 
eventually he went mentally insane, created Maya Angelou, who was his pet turtle, um, who hated all blacks. Do you just have a fetish for, like, <laughs> against black people or something? No, it's just funny. So <laughs> Uh, and no, I don't. Van Gogh does. Who um, came up with him? Uh, Daishan, technically. <laughs> because do you remember that stupid Ninja Tur- that stupid Ninja Turtle ad I used to have? Yeah. <laughs> uh, one day I made the mistake of not wearing it completely, and then there's just like a huge cancer lump sitting on the top of my head. <laughs> he was like, you look like a retarded Ninja Turtle. What's your name, Van Gogh? <laughs> And then we just proceeded to come up with his entire character. Um, as you can tell, my speech classes are working. Uh, oh, that was another highlight. Uh, when I opened a podcast without stuttering once, and I was like, as you can see, my speech classes are working out. And and, and you were like, oh, dude, did you actually take speech there? Uh, classes? Yeah, you stuttered. <laughs> He's like, oh, dude, did you actually start taking speech therapy classes? And I was like, and then I was trying to make a joke by stuttering to say, no, 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 nigga. But, uh, but you kept on like, oh, dude, I'm so proud of you. Oh, dude, this is a great day. This is awesome. And I was like, I'm lying. And then you were just like, oh. I don't ever remember being that proud of you. Well, I do, and all the footage is online. For some reason, I doubt that I was ever that proud, but you know what? Oh, all the footage right there. Right where? do 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 what season was that? Was that last season? Lightning season? Uh, yeah, that was a uh, season. Something. I'm not the one who rewatched the entire series. I think it was last season because that's the one I skipped through most of it. I, mean, I don't know. I just don't. Know. Oh yeah, that was definitely season season eight when she came back with the washouts and she was like, "You can't beat me." And then Rainbow Dash was like, "I'm not. I'm not gonna try to." She's like, "I'm gonna steal your pupil." She was like, "Don't do that." And then. And then Scoot and then Scoot was like, I can't fly. And then Rainbow Dash was like, cool. <laughs> Thanks for that. He's like, I'm gonna go with lightning dust, but why? <laughs> just, a super, just a super hyper realistic mouth, but why? <laughs> and then Scoot was like, oh no, she might actually be trying to kill me. Do the stunt! I don't want to. <laughs> do the roar. <laughs> like, do the roar. It's like, I don't want to. Do the roar. And then she pushed her down, and then Rain, and then Rainbow Dash said, "She's like, I told you, but why?" So, so and Lightning was just like, "I'll kill you!" And <laughs> and then she got taken into space, and we haven't seen her since. Somehow, I don't think that's what happened. They used her one time to say "kill" in that single episode. When did they say "kill"? They haven't yet. And I don't know the last episode. The last word just. No, you see, something's gonna happen to Celestia. So it's gonna get extremely mad. She's like, "I'm gonna kill you," and then, <laughs> and then we'll cut the live action footage of Lauren Fels. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our show. Uh, there is no closure. Uh, she just said, "I'm gonna kill you." You can assume whether she uh, succeeded or not. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching my show. Uh, I, I still didn't approve of Cadence. I still don't. Um, bye. Sugar digga 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 my little pa- Oh, there's our copyright strike. Our? Yeah, our. Notifications! Don't you ever fucking taunt me again, you piece of shit. Wow, it's almost as if you did it first. I will end you. Please do. Alright, let's check my messages. You do realize I'm still 34,000 steps ahead. Yeah, and I'm taunting you. For what? The only reason you are ahead is because there are days that I just forget to wear my Fitbit. It just sits on my dresser. Yours. What's okay? What was one of your okay? Top three episodes of MLP. Go. Uh, Between Dark and Dawn does not count. Uh, <laughs> uh, Equestria Girls. That doesn't count. Uh, Equestria uh, Girls uh, too. <laughs> uh, the uh, Friendship Bound one. Uh, like that one. Secret of my access, just because it's the first one I saw. Well known to well, my excessive. Yeah, well known to my excessive, of course. <laughs> and uh, uh, okay, between dark and dawn does count. Well, then that's obviously like a tier of its own. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, 
I want to say I was well that ends well, but at the same time, I know there's probably going to be one that I'm just completely forgetting about. Okay, here's my list. All the Spike episodes. They count as three episodes. <laughs> yeah, that's his fair share. <laughs> Nigga tried to frame Aloysius for murder. That was their one time they said kill. They didn't, it wasn't said, it was just implied. Yeah, they just showed a dead body. <laughs> sure, it, sure, it might have been a fake one. But it was still a dead body, so it counts. All right, my three favorites, suited for success. I think that's the one where is that suited for success? The one where like they like flush out like multiple personalities or whatever. No, that's the one where they went to Manhattan. No, she went to Manhattan, and she was like, "I need to help with these customers." And then she said, "So fam or whatever." I don't. I. Yeah, I don't. That's totally woke. That's totally woke. And I was like, "Man, Fluttershy, I hope you go to sleep and never wake up again." <laughs> You know Justin liked that episode. Oh, he definitely did. Why am I looking at Doki Doki Fight Club? Hang on a second. Uh, which one was suited for success? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I'm trying to think of the one where Rarity went to Manhattan. And she was like, oh, dude, I can live the high life. Or I can... Oh, suited for success is actually a tuxedo place. Thank you for joining us on the Just Talk podcast. Uh, end me. Oh my gosh! Just, okay, maybe I should specify MLP. Yep. That would help. Uh, suited for success. Okay, that's the season one episode when she made the dresses for her friends, and they were like, "Yeah, but it's not what I envisioned." And Rarity's like, Who "Well, is this? I'm gonna just do my best to give like terrible recaps of these episodes." Where, where Rarity's like, "Oh man, I can't wait to make this dress for myself." And Applejack and Twilight come in. And like it's oh, Rarity. All right, that's three star on his balance. It's like Rarity. And Rarity. And, and that's why it's like fix my dress for the gal. And she's like, how about I make you a new dress? And Rainbow Dash falls and is like bitching. So, how about you get bigger hands? <laughs> how about get bigger hands? <laughs> and Rainbow Dash just flies in, uh, and she's like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so then she's like all right i made you guys some dresses and they're like wow these dresses eat shit and rarity's like hey that's okay i'll just make something entirely new yeah but let us decide what 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 we want and then that's like saying like someone who has never played a video game in their life is going up to i don't know like, to sega and be like sega, hey you know sonic you Force don't know how suck. to make the game let me make it uh, uh, what's your experience? I've never touched a video game in my life. You're hired. Make a game. Like, <laughs> so she's like, see, but here's here's the thing. Since you obviously suck at making dresses and you've never made one in your entire life, let us give you the directions. And then it zooms in on Rarity. She has a hyper-realistic mouth. But why? So, <laughs> then, so I can see where this joke is going to go. <laughs> so, so then it cuts to like one of the best songs in the series. To me personally, Art of the Dress. Um, that's the art uh, of my... I don't know where I was going with that. All we ever want is indecision. All we really like is what we know. Got a balanced style with adherence. Making sure we make a good appearance. Even if you simply have to fudge it. Make sure that it stays within our budget. Got to overcome intimidation. Remember it's all in the presentation. There's our copyright claim. Uh, so anyway, she's yeah, like... an hour copyright claim because I actually joined it. Yeah, uh, so then it cuts to... Uh, the fashion show that she planned for her friends. They're like, "All right, go out there and show off your dresses." And then they come back and it's like, "Hey, why they hate? Our, why they hate our dresses?" Gee, I don't know. And Rarity's like, "Gee, maybe it's because you fucking suck at fashion, and you should have never taken my job." Sega, <laughs> how come they didn't like the game that I designed? I don't hmm. know. Maybe because it was a Mario game. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> but everyone loves my Mario. But we don't own him now, do? We? <laughs> Uh, billions of dollars in debt to Nintendo. How do you expect to cover this up? Well, that's not like a you problem. <laughs> Make sure it's all in the presentation. So anyway, they kidnap the fancy guy from from Canterlot. They're like, "Hey, we fucked up her dresses. Can we like have you look at her actual ones?" And he's like, "No." And then Rainbow Dash is like, "I'll suck your dick." And he's like, "All right, cool." So then but she's gay. Uh, yeah, exactly. So she won't do it. So then it cuts to them wearing the dresses that she actually made and he's like hey these are good who made these and Fluttershy's like it was me and Flutter <laughs> and Rarity just walks out slaps her right across the jaw uh I'm sorry she's lying it was me um 
And then Hoya Toti's like, cool, you now have standing in the fashion like community. I just remembered his name halfway through the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Hoity and Hoity Toti was like, cool, you have standing in the fashion community. Just don't expect to be tre treated well if you come to Canterlot because you won't. Fancy Pants is uh, he's quite a cunt. And then, <laughs> and then he just leaves. Um, and then Twilight gives a message, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, get it because we're horses. <laughs> Nay! <laughs> and then Spike's like, yo, dude, never do that again. That's disgusting. Okay, so that's uh, my number three episode. My number two episode is uh, To Change a Changeling. See, mine were in an order. They were just like groups. Oh. Like. Well, my second one is To Change a Changeling. Spike. And then my number one episode. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> See, like, there's nothing else that needs to be said. If an episode features Spike, it's automatically one of the best episodes that they've ever made. <coughs> I have, and it's a cough. It's, 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 I have, and it's a cough. Uh, so, how do I summarize? Humans can't cough. <laughs> Humans can't cough. That's about it. I'll be the bitch that watches your words away. Damn, this podcast we really is are game just jokes. <laughs> we are just unfunny black game girls. That's who we are. Who are allowed to say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shut up, phone. Um, okay, oh, so okay, so Spike, Starlight. Oh yeah, by this point, Starlight's in in the show, and she's like bitching. Uh, so they're on a train, oh, and Spike's like, "I gotta go incognito, or these bitches are gonna suck my dick." But then they get there, and no one wants to suck his dick. And he's like, "Hey, yo, what's going on?" And sh and and Shining was like, hey, yo, sorry about that, Spike. We got to be on on our guard. We left the fence unlocked, and a black man got in, and we... <laughs> and, uh, burnt oak sitting there. <laughs> burnt oak got in, so we so we just got to be on our guard. Because, I mean, because who? Because who knows what those blacks are doing on a Friday night? Uh, so, uh, so Spike's like, hey, I'll help you catch the black man. And Cadence is like, sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. And Spike's like, stop. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> uh, so then is like, hey, you want to help us catch him? And he's like, I just said I would. So it cuts to like the middle of nowhere, um, with Spike and all these guards. And he's like, all right, you guys go that way. Nay, you guys go the other way. To be honest, I don't know what episode you're talking about to change a changeling <laughs> and he's like you go that way nay and the other one's like you go that way nay he's like all right i've sent away all the protection i have from this black man i am now alone i will search for him under this rock and then he gets thrown into a cavern and then he comes face to face with this black man named steve and he's like oh man oh man just take my wallet just just don't hurt me and he's like i don't want to hurt you man he's like yeah, all right you cool then uh so then he's like hey let me go tell shining armor that this black man's cool He's like, hey man, this black man's cool. He's like, there's no such thing as a nice black man. He said he was nice. He said it was cool. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, there's, hey, the black man's cool. There's no such thing as a cool black man. And then Spike's like, hey, sorry about that. My friend's a little bit racist. I don't think he wants you in our kingdom. He's like, ah, damn it, I knew it. Hey, turn into a pony. He's like, all right, cool. So then he turns into a horse, and then everyone accepts him because, you know, oh, thanks. Because, like, you know, whites accepted, uh, blacks aren't. Uh, but then he accidentally sneezes all over, <laughs> all over Flurry Heart and, like, blows his cover. Co blows his cover. And he's like, oh, God, oh, no. <laughs> and the Big Mac comes through the window. I found the nigger. Uh, so <laughs> uh, so this is going to be the most demonetized thing. Uh, it's age restricted, so it's not going to get mon money anyway. So, uh, so anyway. Um, it Just cuts. Daily motion. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. Um, it cuts to uh, Steve. He ran away. He was like, "I trusted you, Spike. You didn't stand up for me when Big Mac tried to lynch me." He's like, "Hey, man, I'm not gonna fight Big Mac. He's like three times my height, dude, and he always has a noose on him. I don't want to be next." He's like, uh, "Next." <laughs> Shut up. Uh, uh, so then, so then Spike goes back. He's like, "Hey, yo, let me sing y'all a song. Uh, if day can turn to night and the darkness turn to light." Why can't we imagine black people can be cool? Um, and then Starlight's like, hey, I was once an uncool black man. I know that it's possible to change and become a cool black man. She's, she's I accept you, Steve. And then everyone was like, all right, cool. And then the episode was over. There wasn't a moral. Um, 
was just an episode about Spike fucking around. And now my number one favorite episode so far. This might change because there's still 13 episodes left to get through. Um, Pinky Pride. I like the one too, boy. I like the other one too. That was my favorite. Father has nothing to do with pride. Shut up, boy. That has a lot to do with pride, though. Jesus. That one had a lot to do with pride. <laughs> like, he's not slapping trunks. He's reeling back, punching this nigga over what and else, over what again. Else are you gonna do? Just <laughs> no key, <laughs> no throws, just fists. Yeah, exactly. Ever open your mouth again, boy. He's <laughs> choking on his blood. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Just choking on his blood. So anyway, uh, in that episode, uh, Pinky is like, hey, I'm the party planner, and Weird Al Yankovic shows up. He's like, no. <laughs> the super duper party. <laughs> Just, he's, she's, Clear your throat, please. <laughs> fuck me. I don't want to hear rumbling every time. I will. <laughs> Get out of my car. I don't want to hear that every time you hear it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> like, just clear the mucus in your throat or something. <laughs> so, Pinkie Pie's like, hey, I'm a party pony. And Weird Al shows up. He's like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, hey, Ramadash, I'm throwing your party. And Pinkie Pie's like, but why, though? With a super hyper-realistic mouth. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I like that joke. I do too. <laughs> but why though? <laughs> it doesn't even match her color. It's just like a white man's lips. <laughs> like, but why though? <laughs> uh, and then she's like, damn, my friends don't love me. Wait, my friends do love me. There's only one thing to do. And then she goes to Weird Al and she's like, fight me for the honor of throwing this party. Remember that? She's like, can't you just both do it? And then it cuts to the goof off. It would get done so much faster if both just played. And then it cuts to the goof off. Uh, and dolly, dolly, dolly. And Pinkie Pie says some shit in Spanish. And then almost kills Rainbow Dash. And she's like, you know what? I just don't want a birth anniversary in, 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 uh, anymore. I'm just going to go home. And Pinkie Pie's like, damn. I can't believe I ruined my friend's birthday party. I guess I have to leave town. And then Weird Al is like, why are you retarded? <laughs> And she's like, you know what, you're right, let's plan it together. And then they plan it together, and then they have a really good-ass song, Make a Wish It's Your Birthday, because they're not allowed to use the birthday song. And yeah, honorable men men honorable mentions uh, between Dark and Dawn. That one is super good. There's a lot of little things you gotta do in this world. Creeper. <laughs> Have you not seen that? No. It's just a meme of people going into random <laughs> into random discords and be like, Creeper! Aw, oh, man! So we back in the mine got our pickaxe swing from side to side, side, side to Creeper! Aw! Oh. <laughs> and, and, and they're just taking turns writing out the lyrics, but someone always fucks up and then they have to start o -o over. <laughs> It's like, Creeper, aww, cause maybe tonight, damn it, we're starting over, <laughs> like, Creeper, aww, man, so we back in the mic, got my helmet on my head, figure out what that zombie said, damn it, we're starting over, Creeper, Creeper, <laughs> and then like, I come to realize that your sense of humor really varies, Sometimes. And then seven people just say creeper. <laughs> and the people editing the video, they always start the song over when they do that. Like creeper, 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 creeper. Oh man, creeper, creeper. Um. <laughs> the word Big Mac. Not funny. Didn't laugh. <laughs> exactly. His sense of humor is lynching. I don't really think he has a good sense of humor. Oh, man. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, let's go with top five. Give two more episodes you like. Okay. I said between Dark and Dawn. That was a good episode. Uh, I also enjoy that episode. 
my favorite part is when Sugar Bell was like, you you guys are fighting over me like I'm a trophy. And Big Mac's like, because you are a trophy. You are an object. That's all you will oh. ever, ever be. And Featherbank's like, I'm Justin Bieber, just a couple years too late. <laughs> I'm lonely. Um, I like the, uh, on the CMC, get the key marks out of you. Oh, that's a great episode. Should I summarize that one? No. Okay. Um, and... I'm gonna summarize that one. Don't. Oh. And... So uh, it starts off in the club. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and... And that bloom's like, hey, Shut yo. up! <laughs> <laughs> Creeper! <laughs> oh, man. Shut up. And Apple Bloom's like, hey, yo, guys, so we got... You ain't saying nothing! I'm trying to think! That was a nice voice crack. It was. <laughs> trying to think! Damn. I bet my voice will never cry. Damn. I can't wait for you to think for the rest of this podcast. Keep waiting. Is that for me? Yeah, probably. Alright, let's summarize the Zephyr Breeze episode, because that's a good one. So, uh... So Fluttershy is at home with her parents, whose mom is a thick milf. Um, Get out of my car. She is. Get out of my car. I would pipe her down. Get out of my car. And you know, Get the fuck her husband out would of watch. My car. He would enjoy what he enjoys being a cuck. He looks Hello. like a cuck. There is a armed black man in my car. <laughs> See, this is a part of the plan because now they're gonna shoot both. Thank you. I see no downside. They missed both of us. That would, that would, oh. that would really hurt. Uh, so Fluttershy is in her kitchen with her thick mom and cuck dad. And Rainbow Dash is there too for some reason. I guess it's to just to show off that Zephyr Breeze wants to pipe her down. Speaking of Zephyr Breeze, God enters the room. Um, and he's like, hey, I need a place to stay uh, because I dropped out of school again. Implying he's done this several times before. I, How old is he? He's like 26. <laughs> So he's dropped out every day on the How first, old are they? Uh, I'm 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 assuming his mom is ripe and his dad's like fifty four. No, so, they're like the main characters. Like how old are they? Oh, I, I assume none of them are older than eighteen. Actually, that's a lie because Rarity owns a full ass business. Like all of them are basically homeowners. Like what? I'm gonna say both. Like they're all at least twenty five. Um, so Zephyr Breeze has to be like thirty two and still has not passed college. I'm just gonna like pretend he's like. Man, that sounds like someone in my house. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> and Zeph- okay, so God enters the house. He's like, "Hey, I need a place to stay because I'm dropping out of school again." And his parents are like, "All right, cool." And Flush is like, "Fuck no, no, get the fuck out of here." He's like, "Uh, mom said I could stay, so fuck you." Uh, and she was like, "Mom says my turn on the Xbox." Mom says it's my turn on the Xbox. And he's like, hey, Rainbow Dash, you know what? Let's just leave this bitch here and go pipe down in my room. And she's like, I'm gay. <laughs> and he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Have you not seen my haircut? Like, how are you going to tell me what my sexuality is? He's like, because I just know you ain't gay. Oh, well, she's not. She? I mean, of course she is. She's with uh, Twilight. Twilight Ash. I like how Justin said that there's only one black person, but Twilight's black. <laughs> no, you see, Rainbow Dash is the only black one, but Twilight's black one. See, but Twilight's the only black one. Well, I mean, both of them are. Do you know what the word only means? <laughs> Do you know sir? what only means, sir? Uh, so, anyway, uh, Rain- so Fluttershy's like, hey, Mom, you gotta kick this louse out. He's just gonna, like, smoke pot and cry. And, 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 and then she was like, alright, cool. So then they walk aside, hey, you gotta get out. And then Zephyr Breeze is like, okay, but you want me here, right? And they're like, no. <laughs> He's like, dying. <laughs> so he disappears for a while. And the floor is like, I did a good job. I made a man homeless today. And then he just busts down her door. He's like, I'm staying with you. And and she's like, but why? Uh, so Zephyr Breeze, <laughs> I saw it in my head, so it's good. Um, and <laughs> Zephyr Breeze is like, 
but I'm going to stay here. And you can't tell me no. He's like, all right, I'll let you stay if you get a job. So he proceeds to fuck up every job he gets. He's just supposed On to... Purpose. He's just supposed to bag the groceries at Kroger. Purposely puts the eggs underneath the milk. Like, why? <laughs> why would you do... Why would you do that? He put the groceries in the bag instead of putting them back in the cart. Started to twirl them around and threw them out the door. <laughs> just like a fucking Chad. He's like, oh, you want your groceries, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get him. You're fired. Yes. So he would walk out. <coughs> Please, get, go to a doctor. This inside joke is really not funny anymore. I'm not I'm not trying to be funny. Well, too bad. It's not wor it's not we're working. It's not funny. You know what else isn't funny? Fucking realistic hyper mouth or whatever. Well, you see, at least that's a new joke. No, it's not. Of course it is. I'm not even. That's, I'm not joking. That's the you thing. are absolutely. I'm telling joking. you. To, I'm telling you to get it. Checked Shut out. up, Zephyr. So anyway, what the fuck. Uh, so anyway, uh, Fluttershy is like, hey. So you lost your job, right? And she's like, he, and he's like, yeah. And I get to sleep all day. Get the fuck out. And he's like, damn. How did I not see this outcome coming? Uh, so he goes to live in the woods for some fucking reason. Cause he doesn't have a home. Nigga, just go sleep on the streets of Ponyville. Do what? Sleep on the streets. Like any, like, if I get like, if I get kicked out of my house, I'm not gonna go live in the fucking woods. I mean, at least wood has shade and meat. You can get that in the city. From what? From where? How are you gonna pay for it? You don't have to. You steal it. And then go to jail. Yeah, and then you have a place to live. I really don't like it. It's a win for Zephyr. Do you not want him to win? I don't want him in jail. Well, you see, if he's in jail, he has a roof above it. He has a roof, a roof above his head, three square meals a day. He's also incarcerated. Yeah, but he has three square meals a day, a roof over his head. I wouldn't call them square meals. A bunk mate. <laughs> you know, one thing he doesn't have is virginity. Uh -huh. Well, of course he doesn't. He's the top mate. He is the top bunk. <laughs> he made himself known as soon as he went into the jailhouse. All right. Here are the standings. Me, the dirt, the worms in the dirt, my feces, and you. Know your place. So you think you're just coming here and tell me... Why is Vegeta, <laughs> why is Vegeta incarcerated as well? Did you really just ask why is Vegeta incarcerated? <laughs> oh, so you think you just come in here and change the order? No, nah, nigga. Put him up. Why did you up? say that word? I got the inward pass from Big Mac. Yep. So, <laughs> why is Big Mac? You got, never mind. So, <laughs> should have a death sentence by now. Uh, so, he was like, oh, so you want to challenge me, huh? Spread them. What? I said spread them. He managed to <laughs> leave Vegeta speechless. Uh, are you implying that you're going to take my butthole? I'm not implying. I'm promising. Why are you making him sound gay? <laughs> Cause nigga gay. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's about to pipe down Vegeta. Why the fuck would I not make him sound gay? And Vegeta's like, you think you can overpower me, boy? I'd like to see you try. Cuts him in the fetal position inside his cell. Ooh. Booba. I'm sorry. A portal opens behind him. Man, it's almost like uh, this wouldn't have happened if you were just... Uh, Fucking come home. I'd rather be anally raped two more times than come back well, not to that one. Shit. <laughs> not three. <laughs> two. <laughs> two more times before I come back to that shithole you call home. Shithole? We're the richest family in the world. <laughs> we are literally the richest family in the world. Yeah, but you're there. Oh, okay. He doesn't live there, though. He doesn't live there. Goodbye. Zephyr, he's in here. Shut your mouth, boy. I found you, bitch. <laughs> you just, you, you're basically just doing a high-pitched Mr. Incredible. Stop. You thought he could hide from me. <laughs> Spread him. No. And then Fluttershy is just like, hey, man, I don't think you should be here anymore. So she breaks him out of jail. Um, and she's like, go back to school. And he's like, all right, cool. So he goes back to school, gets his degree, and, and then that's the end of the episode. All that was a part of the episode. I 
should have brought fire. You weren't expecting that one, were you, chump? <laughs> the cum bucket. <laughs> I was about to say the chump bucket, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna go for cum. I have cum. <laughs> he, he just has it in buckets. We don't know if it's his. <laughs> he has cum, though. Like, I have cum. Why, Krillin? <laughs> Why, Krillin? <laughs> Why, though? <laughs> <laughs> this whole friendship is based off of overused jokes. I like how everyone on my main channel is like, oh my gosh, you should do more reactions. I like to hear you weaves. Like, I, I hate it. I hate I, it. It's like, I love to hear you wheeze. And I'm like, hey, you should watch this because I also wheeze in this a lot. Yeah, but that's not a monkey's reaction now, is it? So basically, what I'm hearing is you don't want to you, you like You like fucking, you don't like me. Yeah, so exactly. So go subscribe to him. No, I want to watch you watch his stuff. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is he my pencil? One of my new favorite Jeffy quotes. Now, this doesn't mean I like SML, guys. They're still awful. Hot takes. But, uh, actually, that's not a hot take. That's just a straight up fact. SML fucking sucks. Um,. One of my new favorite quotes from Jeffy is just, I don't have to. <laughs> it's like, Jeffy, you need to put on your pants. I don't have to. <laughs> if my kid ever says that to me, I'm going to beat the fuck out of her. <laughs> I'm not going to discipline her. <laughs> I'm not going to discipline her. I'm going to beat the fuck out of her. I'm talking like... Child Protection <laughs> Services, I hope you're hearing this. I'm talking like Vegeta beating beaten Trunks type of... <laughs> I don't have to. You should never be allowed to have a kid. Oh, too bad. So I was, one of my coworkers showed me this video of like some parent talking to his kid about like sex or whatever, you know, like telling him, you know, the do's and do nots or whatever. So he's like, he's like, I'm, I forgot the kid's name. So I was like, okay, so, uh, Timmy, you know, you know, when a male and a female love each other very much. And then the kid just comes up and is like, why well, it gotta be a male and a female? He's like, I'm like, I saw that one. And he's like, 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 well, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I mean, you know, that's just what's normal. And he's like, "Oh, is that normal? Really? Well, what? About, like, why? Why is that normal? Why is that normal, Dad?" And it's just like, he's like, "Why can't it be a transgender and a cisgender or someone?" I'm just like, "Hmm." It's like, kid, you're you're no more than like eight. It's it's because you, it's 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 because you can't physically think a baby in a transgender person's womb. Exactly. I'm like you, huh? Like what? Tell me what male and a male. Look, if anyone is like, don't that, apologize. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just it's just a fact, a fact. that you know I'm not. It's I feel a fact like, that I feel transgender like I'm, I'm, people cannot have babies. Well, I wasn't going there, but I feel like. I'm treading into territory that is... It's okay, no one on the Dream Team is trans, no one cares. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> no. I feel <laughs> like I've made a mistake of some kind. <laughs> I, I, I've never related more to Kevin than I have now. Look, a man and a trans can't have a baby well, I wasn't because, talking about trans people. No, it's like, look, a man and a man can't have a baby. Because, go on. No. <laughs> I feel as if I've made a mistake of some kind. <laughs> That's where we are nowadays. Alright, so, unfor why did I put my seatbelt on for this podcast? No. So, anyway, uh, I hate to cut this short for you guys, but... No. <laughs> no. But, unfortunately, we do need to head out and... I just want to thank you all for sticking through us, sticking with us throughout this terribly offensive podcast that we upload like sporadically every couple of months. Um, I really do appreciate the love and support you guys give all one of you. Um, You're talking to yourself. Yeah, because I'm the only one who watches it. Uh, J four. For a while now. Forgot. Okay, so 
thank you all so much. We'll see you in season two. We're going to have more guests like Water Witch, see, Pyro Knight, say that. Night of Breath. Hopefully some people from Gintendo because I love them. Um, and Danny Sexbang from Game Grumps. So with that being said, if he uh, ever it. imagine him singing the How to Tube theme song. <laughs> That'd be wild, dude. That would be I super wild. It. I'll wring your fucking neck. Get bigger hands. Shut the fuck up, Sayor. <laughs> Imagine Aaron singing the How to Tube theme song. All right. So, that being said, leave a comment down below letting us know what you would like to see us do next. Don't forget to subscribe to that bell icon to be notified of the next time we upload. Don't forget to join the Discord server in the description. Check out the merch. And donate to the Patreon to help How to Tube come out sooner. And with that being said, until next time, keep on dreaming, guys. Goodbye! I'm glad that's your outro now. Can you make that your outro when you actually make your own channel? If I can make my channel, sure. Why not? Like, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed part 57 of Three Houses. So, with that being said, goodbye! Part 57 of Three Houses. So, with that being said, goodbye! Bye, Tube Tech students! Better not let me catch you with the hallways! <laughs> See, I feel like by the time I'm, like, a grown man, I'm going to develop multiple personality disorder. <laughs> and don't forget to come back! Goodbye, I'm everyone! Not, I'm not trying to make light of it, <laughs> but I'm saying, I feel like this is that's what I'm going to become eventually. Oh, most definitely. Alright, bye now!